Hello, this is Victor. I'm here with a new weekly painting and this time I want to share to you how to paint the glow of, of the reactor or of, of the turbines that we have in some jet bikes and also flares. So I will share here how I do it for this one. As I was painting this for my Harlequins, I thought that was maybe interesting to show you how to do this glow inside. So I will do this on the bikes and yeah, I, and I will do what is a blue glow. So inside. So the first thing we are going to do is, uh, and we are going to paint. I will use Baharo blue, what is quite a, a quite a bright blue, on the uh, inside of the reactors, okay, or, or inside of the of this engine. Uh, we are going. To, the important thing here is to really fill everything with the blue, okay? So that it looks. Uh, and here is this is just one of the small uh, on the unique cases that you don't care too much about thin layers because nobody will see the detail there. And on top, you don't want the detail to be seen because you want to really to kill the detail with the glow. So I mean, you want really to show the glow and not. So you go for something like that, okay? So we are going to do this there, okay? And uh, as you can see, I go with oh, not too much. Uh, I'm not too delicate on doing that. And here I will do the same. These are the because I guess these are like stabilizers, and I imagine them glowing, throwing energy, just to stabilize the the, the bike, and and and. and um, helping the bike to float, right? So I will put it on that side, so as well. So I will do this too, and I think I will do it just in one go in the camera, so you can see that it's quite a fast and easy thing to do, not too complex. And the only thing is, uh, here I just show the glow. Uh, of course you have to paint the metal in the colors you want. The metal, I mean the, the, the reactor. Take it into account that the inside will be, I, although I paint the outside and the inside, take into account that the inside will be blue at the end. Okay, so here you have what it looks like. And the most difficult thing is to trick your eye because you want to look like there is light inside. So to do that, you want to go very bright. And for this, I will use no white. We are going to use this white scar in that case. You can use any white that you have to be prepared. And we are going to heat the middle of the glow with that. And it's good that it's not completely dry because although we want almost to go to pure white, we wanted to keep some of the blue, so we don't want to kill the, the bluish blue. Okay, so this is why you see this is too much. I, I go with adding glow after glow. So I keep taking blue, white, sorry, and I keep adding white here. So something like that. Okay, so you want really the middle. You can even go a little bit white in the middle, so I will put no... Because with all the shade around, let it dry a little bit. And here we are going to do the same. Okay, and we are going to put the white in the middle. This, these things have this type of thing, I will put them white. Okay, and then I go back here, because it's really the middle you want it to be pure white. Okay, something like that. I hope the camera is showing that. Okay, once you have that, let's go for a darker blue. Okay, and I, I have already, and I will use, we can use Animan blue, you can use Sotec blue in that case, more or less both are the same. I go for this type of, you can use even Calgar blue if you go for less turquoise, turquoise blue, but I, I like to use this one in the case. Okay. And you thin it down because you want a little bit transparent because you want to blend it, you want to make the transition softer, right? And we're going to put this on the outside part of the of the of the reactor or the turbine. So just at the outside part. Okay, and you can offset a little bit out. Because we'll, this will simulate the reflection, the reflection that the, the the light will diffract and will create like a glow. Although it's not really 
the color, the light cannot hit these external parts physically because they go in a straight line. The diffraction will make this optical effect. Will be the light will make the uh, source of light look wider than it is in reality. And here we have very easy way to do the glow, and I think it's a very easy trick to add some interesting things on the jeans. So you can leave the whole black, but I think adding the glow. And here, what I do is just the most extreme parts, and you can see that you, it's quite fast. And this is what I wanted to do them all in camera. Because it's a trick that is quite fast, and I think it's adding quite a lot on the. And then I, re I realized that I, I missed a point here, but okay, with the same blue, we need to take a little bit of the light blue and show it correctly. Okay, but it's a trick, a tip that is quite fast, and is one of these things that is more efficient. Is is quite an efficient painting. So it's just adding. Mm, for the, I would say it's one of these things that for the effort that needs, it's worth it. So here you have the glow on this type of stabilizers and the glow at the back. Don't go more crazy than that. I think this is good enough. Uh, of course, this one is so deep that it's difficult sometimes to tweak the A, but I think it will work quite well. I can add a little bit more of white in the middle. Not that it's dry, it's drier. Okay. So I will take a little bit more of white because I really want the middle to look uh, the, to be the source of the energy, right? The source of the light. So you want to add a little bit more of white in the middle. And I have to say that the white I have is quite... Okay, and this is how it looks like. So this is an easy thing, fast to do. But I wanted to show you because I think it's one of these tips that with not too much effort you can have nice results. So let me see if I can focus in a little bit more. Let's see if the camera can focus, maybe too close. But here you have. Okay, so this is how to do gl the glow of this type of turbines and changes. I think these ones, they really look great. So it's a way, it's like a uh, object source of light, something like that. This is the same technique when you want to do source of light. Remember, the core has to be the lighter color and go darker. So you should do the opposite of that you do with the normal colors. So easy and busy tip this week. Okay, uh, I hope you find this interesting. I will get out because the camera cannot focus on the reactor, to be fair. So, easy tip this week, something fast that I want to share. And be ready. Uh, I have a, lot, a couple of things for the next weeks. I want to work more on power weapons. I will do more on that. And I had a request also to do uh, orange type of skins for Tyranids. So maybe I will do in the next weekly also to talk about the Tyranids a little bit more. As I have some thermograms to be painted and maybe I will show you what are the colors I will use for my... Um, uh, for the uh, yeah to paint the thermograms and to match also my Gen Stiller cult. So yeah, that's all for this week. Fast, easy, and very efficient. Uh, how to do the glow on the turbines. Okay, so here you have what to do for the jet bikes. Uh, I hope you find this interesting. Please leave in, the, leave in the comments below what do you think. Give a like if you have liked it. And if you have any proposal for future uh, videos and for future tutorials, don't hesitate to leave it in the comment below. Or drop me a message, email, anything, it's okay. Uh, I will take care. I cannot promise that I do it next week, but for sure I put in my list to do and will be done uh, in the following weeks. That's all for now. As usual, thanks a lot for watching and see you again later. Bye!